PHS essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome viewer, uh, you who's viewing this video. Remember this video is uh, the second week of April 2024 starting from April 9th to April 15th. Um, we are going to tell you what the central theme is going to be since we've pulled out all the cards for you already. There are three of them and you have the general prediction deck, you have the head, wealth and the relationships. Um, now remember this is a new format that we have started so that all the birth dates from 1 to 9 can be covered. If you want a personalized prediction, you know where to find me. You have my numbers. They will be in the description box. Get in touch with us and we will patch you across um, to the reader, one of the readers in our panel and uh, you can take it from there, right? The products, of course, are all there on the uh, channel. Let me start with the central theme for you for the second week. But first, I'm going to pull these away so that there is no mishmash. Right. General health, wealth, and relationships. Right. Central theme coming up. So you have uh, this advice that's come from this card which says, bring love into the situation. You know best what it is. That's for the new moon in Aquarius. The card of Luna and uh, the page of fire. Right. So or the page of wands. So let's do this one first. So uh, I know that I keep saying that when it comes to, uh, to taking decisions, you need to be logical and uh, never use emotions because that will cloud the uh, decision, okay? Um, having said that, in a particular situation, you're being asked to soften the blow, which means you need to be a little nicer, you need to be a little more gentle. Um, in other words, you need to use kids' gloves. So whatever the situation is, you have to be a little softer than what you usually are. For many reasons, you'll know best what it is. This could apply to your professional life or to your personal life or both. That's in the second week of April. One of my favorite cards, this is the Moon Dragon, Luna. Luna Lady Luna, remember, is also one of our Wiccan goddesses. Here we are talking about using the strength of the Moon. Remember. The different phases of the moon also signify how strong or weak your spirit energy is and how proportionate you are to the energy of the universe, right? And uh, we're all light workers, all energy workers, all of us. So if I were to add this card and this card, then around the new moon, which would be a day before, around the 7th, uh, 7th of April, uh, so but this is the second week, but you can feel the effects. A few days before a few days after like so okay so there's definitely something that is going to require your patience be a silent observer don't be impulsive that strength that you have and that you display use it wisely don't use it and then you know uh, feel um, all drained out because you've used too much of it in one go you get it learn to space it out evenly during the week but there is definitely very good moon energy that you're going to be surrounded with. Um, go for a walk in the moonlight and, you know, why not? And we'll make sure that you're going to a well-lit place is all I'll say. Page of Wands. So you will be receiving a message for sure and a creative one or you'll be giving it out. Your outlook is going to be uh, more uh, extrovertish. So you are going to be outgoing. Uh, the creative streak within you is going to come up whether you are uh, designing a project whether you're working on a craft or a hobby, uh, you will feel more confident than usual in the second week, which is great. And a little bit of sense of humor added with a little bit of naughtiness, which is great as long as you don't crack a joke and insult someone. N know when to cross the line, okay? When not to cross the line, sorry. Um, you might also receive news of something exciting, uh, an exciting new endeavor. Um, it could be a project, an adventure, and uh, you will have to learn to use your original ideas, right? And you might even have to tweak something. So say you have been given a, a project, you've been given a task, and you're being asked to try something new, to be a little different. So it's like three people writing an essay. All, the th all three people will write this on the same topic, but in different ways, but because everybody's style of writing is different. So you will have to create this style of creativity of yours. That's what this card is telling you. All right, let's move on to the first week 
uh, sorry, the second week's uh, general predictions. And here are your cards. You've pulled out temperance, beautiful. The wheel of fortune, my lord. The devil card and the tower card, all four major arcana cards, which means first up, you've received the blessings of the angels. Let's begin with the temperance card. This tells me you could be a Sagittarian or dealing with one. This card also means that something in your life has to be balanced. There is some disbalance that's going on in your life and because it's come into your life and it's showing up in these cards, it automatically means that you need to sit up and pay attention because it looks like you're losing control. And when you lose control, by law of physics, the momentum increased increases as the ball rolls downhill. Slow, 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 fast, fast, faster, fastest, right? So don't let go, don't lose control. You know best what it is and uh, you will be able to handle it if you take care of it now instead of losing control later, you know. Uh, it could be uh, overthinking, overworking, not resting enough or partying too much, too much of social media, too much of narcissism, uh, too much uh, finger pointing, uh, too superstitious, too atheist. It could be anything, okay? So figure out what it is and fix it. That's his card. A beautiful card we use a lot in spell casting. Um, the Wheel of Fortune or the card of the planet Jupiter, the planet Brihaspati, like we say in Hindi. This card speaks about luck and finance being yours for the second week. That's happening uh, for you um, in the month of April, uh, viewer. And please remember, when this card shows up, it doesn't mean you go ahead and buy something expensive or invest. Um, this means that this is the energy that you are giving out. You need to match that vibe. But if you wake up in the morning saying, oh my God, my purse is empty. Oh my God, my bank account is not as good as I want it to be. You're not matching this vibe. You need to look at this card, look at it carefully and say, wow. So second week of April is when I'm going to enjoy the Wheel of Fortune. So luck and finance are mine for the taking. Now let's see what we can do. Remember, match the vibe and the world is yours. And if you want to match the vibe, but you feel like you can't do it by yourself, get in touch with us, us and we'll do a dragon spell um, for you, a vibe switch. We do it all the time. All right. Um, the third card you've pulled out in the general predictions for the second week is a devil card. This tells me that you could be a Capri or dealing with one. If you're not uh, the zodiac sign Capricorn or dealing with a zodiac sign Capricorn, this card also means that there is an addiction that you need to get rid of. Maybe that is why this card and this card are complementing each other because once you get rid of this addiction, you will be able to strike balance. Makes sense, doesn't it? Now, this addiction doesn't necessarily have to be smoking or vaping or drinking or drugs. It could be gambling. It could be um, over speculation. It could be being too impulsive, aggression issues. It could be overthinking. It could be gossiping. It could be... Uh, um, you know, having double standards, it could be deceiving, it could be something that is, that may even momentarily make you feel good or give you a kick like they say, but later on you don't feel very good because of which your vibes go down. Your vibes go down, you manifest only st things towards you that you don't want to invite into your life. It's as e simple as that. So get rid of this addiction and gain your balance and then perhaps you'll be able to match this vibe of wheel of fortune now let's come to the last card uh, for the general uh, prediction the tower card says that something that um, you were expecting to end is now going to end earlier than what you expected it to so it's not like it's come out of the blue you were expecting this thing to end could be a project could be a relationship could be anything uh, but the thing is the moment it happens you feel a little uh, shaken up. Feel that feeling, but keep it as short and tight as possible because remember, you need to get out of this because you'll get stronger only after you've gotten out of it. The moment you get up and start walking and tell yourself that I need to do this, not just for myself, but for the people who depend on me, life will be much more better. You will be much more stronger. All right. Okay. Um, let's move on to the next deck of cards. This is uh, health. So we finished general. We are on health. So you've pulled out some beautiful cards here as well. Some beautiful and some strange. <laughs> so two of wheels or two of coins is here. The star card. The justice card. One of my favorites. And the ace of cups. We use a lot 
in spell casting this one two of wheels two of coins you uh, so well it's not always strange uh, that uh, we have money cards when it comes to health it's because it's your way of dealing with money is that you want uh, to feel good and when you feel good you're healthier it's they kind of interlinked right health and wealth so i call them the two siblings or two sides of the coin now two of wheels says that you are going to look for ways to make more money which means you might look for ways to invest uh, buy sell rent lease um, shares uh, stocks trading uh, working uh, and alongside starting something um, you know by yourself or with somebody else investment so and you'll profit from it which is great because it made sense because you know once you balance and de-addict in the uh, in the which, which showed in the general card section you automatically gain and you get rewarded by the universe by profiting a lot so this is a good card and this will make you feel better and you will feel healthier so no more acid reflux no more heartburn no more aches and pains root chakra and this pain and that pain all that will start to move away good for you just remember you need to rest okay the star card tells me that you could be an aquarian or dealing with one this card also means that in a situation where you feel that all hope is lost relating to your health it looks like you need to take a second opinion because you might have some good news or some news to save the day so to speak this card is also a karmic card so have your karmic baggage checked because if you're suffering from something and if it is something that your ancestors or your previous generation have also gone through similar um, then you need to check your karmic baggage okay the justice card tells me that you could be a liberal or dealing with one this card also means that you need to uh, look at balance um, there might be some legal issues that might be giving you sleepless nights or maybe somebody in your family is going through it or maybe your friend and you're concerned about it or maybe you yourself um, and uh, the balance that we're talking about here is basically about how what is your lifestyle like are you eating the right kind of food are you doing what is required to do are you eating according to your activities right are your activities healthy enough or is it just sitting behind uh, you know a video game or uh, television etc be a little more active and the last card in the health section you have the ace of cups which means consider yourself lucky that you have people who love you unconditionally please remind yourself that you don't have to take them for granted don't throw your weight around don't use them as punching bags and start expressing gratitude thanking them directly and indirectly for having a presence in your life it makes you stronger right all right let's move on to the third section the third section is the wealth section now viewer you have pulled out some gorgeous cards lord almighty king of cups ace of coins or ace of wheels three of cups and the ten of coins hallelujah these two we use a lot in spell casting that too for money so that's great um king of cups tells me that you could be a pisces cancer scorpio dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card says you're holding on to an, a thought a plan really really tightly you're quite excited about it remind yourself that you are to focus on the process because if you act desperate and hold on tightly to the result the process gets uh, very less attention as compared to what the result is because of that your focus shifts because of that the universe's focus is focus uh, takes a shift so that could cause delays other people may look at you and say oh my god this person so desperate so frustrated okay and that's not who you want to be you want to be an ambitious person you want to be a person who's a who's a game changer a goal achiever okay not a desperate person or a despo like <laughs> like we say okay so uh, remind yourself of that it's all right if you're thinking about ways and means to increase your income to increase your bank account your purses and your wallets but don't forget that your focus has to be in all into the process you have fun and i promise you you'll get there okay the ace of coins and the ace of wheels so there is going to be an offer that you are going to get could be an offer for a plot of land a place to stay renting uh, leasing refurnishing refurbishing definitely jobs uh, business anything to do with the finance aspect of your life that's happening and it will be something more than what you expected right so enjoy it express gratitude for it 
but don't be greedy and say i'll wait for something better to come come this is as good as it gets this is your gift for working hard on yourself increasing your vibes you know balancing yourself de addicting so once you work on yourself the universe grants you this reward remember you have to work towards this card this will not fall into your lap like a pot of gold the three of cups looks like you are going to be celebrating some kind of an, an achievement could be uh, getting a good job could be getting a good price on something uh, could be a good business investment could be starting a business and doing quite well and that and this is a fantastic vibe okay so if you're matching this awesome so three of cups is a beautiful card it's a fantastic vibe it's a very high vibe this is not uh, something that you should take lightly because this is a card of result which means there is something to celebrate because of which you will either be attending a small gathering or you'll be conducting this small party this small get together and it is a celebratory card so there is definitely a high vibe involved here remember you have to match the vibe that's more important okay uh, 10 of coins is another beautiful card which says you are good enough to take care of you and yours in terms of money in terms of finance and that is not something that is to be taken lightly because it's not everyone's cup of tea having said that this is something again that you have to match if you feel no i have some relatives who want a little bit more than what i can afford or want to give um you know and i feel like they're, they're taking too much away from me or maybe what i want is more but i have to make do with less because i have to fulfill the wishes of other people any of this stuff that's going on in your head please get some clarity and direction and have a reading done make sure that you do it for yourself because that's what's required these are very good cards okay we've got some really good cards going in terms of money all right let's move on to the last section uh for the second week of april bio for relationships you pulled out these four cards wow wheel of fortune has come for the second time so you pulled out chariot the wheel of fortune the king of wands and the devil card these two have come before but in the different context okay let's try this one the chariot card tells me it could be a cancer you know dealing with one this card also means that to see forward progressive movement in your life you have to balance the masculine and the feminine the active and the passive the yin and the yang energies this means know when to use your heart know when to use your head know when to be emotional know when, when to be logical know when to act know when to observe so be wise and listen to your gut don't be impulsive right and the forward journey that is required by you to reach your aim will be done so this is something don't be in a rush you'll get there take it easy right so for your relationship this is the this is one advice to be given whichever one is precious to you the wheel of fortune um so it looks like uh, this is the time if you're planning to buy something together or separately to present something that's definitely happening you want to buy some shares in the name of your spouse or your children this is definitely it um you want to do up your parents drawing room then this is it so here we are talking about whatever you do it or buy something you know as a gift like a like a ring or a bangle or a, you know necklace or something in gold or etc it and gift it then this is the time to do it it builds on the relationship right um the king of wands so well you could be a leo or dealing with one that's one secondly um you are going to display loyalty and expect it in return in your relationship and you are also going to have a certain element of possessiveness you will expect your other half or the person you are in a relationship with to confide in you to tell you what is bothering them and then you will give them advice and then you will want them to follow that now first of all don't be attached to that because it is possible that they may not follow it they've just taken your advice but let go of it your job was to give them the advice and be there for them that's pretty much it that's how you have a healthy relationship but don't get after them right and don't make it an ego issue um also try and see if you can practice what you're preaching because sometimes your better half turns around and say hey why don't you do what you what you told me to do because you don't do it yourself so try that okay be a little less preachy and a little more practicey if there is such a word and the last card is the devil card we're talking about addictions here unless you're a capri or dealing with one so de-addict yourself from 
ego, ego kicks. If you have any aggression issues, impulsive uh, decision making, uh, being brash, anything that is harming your relationship and you'll know what it is because you'll get the feedback from your other half, work on it because it might affect your relationship in the future. All right, that's all I have for you. Um, this was a very interesting spread indeed. Thank you for watching. I will see you um, in the third week of April uh, 2024. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you. All be at SA and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.